This is Nitro Bex, and today I have a review on Caramel Kettle Corn from Mad Cat Vapors. Price points first. Uh, it's going to be $5 for 6 milliliters, 83 cents per milliliter, $17 for 30 milliliters, 57 cents per milliliter, $42 for 90 milliliters, that's 47 cents per milliliter. Uh, this one I'm going to be vaping on the CCTS with a kick. Uh, Bogue 510D low resistance, uh, 2.2 ohm cardamizer. Um, I also vaped this one on the Vamo, so I could adjust the wattage a little easier. The wattages I tried were in between 6 to 10 watts. Sweet spot I found on this one was 8.5 watts, and that's what the kick set to right now. So flavor notes are up here, you can see them, but um, before I start talking about the flavor, the issue I had with this juice, and I shouldn't call it an issue, um, the thing I noticed about this juice is I was at work getting ready to fill up a cardamizer. I unscrewed the cap and I do this. No liquid came out, so I could turn it over and drip into my cardamizer and let it set before my break. Everybody went, who popped popcorn? It smells like friggin' popcorn. When I exhale the vapor, it smells like popcorn. It leaves a very strong room note. It doesn't smell bad, it smells like fresh pop popcorn. Not like the burnt charred stuff. Like, I really just popped a bag of popcorn in the microwave. That's what it smells like. On to the flavor. First thing you notice is fresh pop popcorn. Um, can't mistake that flavor. It is dead on accurate. Um, now this one's called caramel kettle corn. So I'm looking for something else in it. I can pick up the caramel. It's very much an undertone. It's very understated, which it should be. If you've ever had caramel kettle corn, it's not like that popcorn you get in the tins that has like the heavy caramel caked onto it. It's just a soft glaze that makes it a little crispy. Um, it's there. You can taste it. It's an undertone. It's very good. All around, it's a great vape. Was a little light for me all day. I did run this one through the Vivinova. Um, I found myself mixing in our juices because it, it just wasn't strong enough to carry me all day. It is a little light. Um, it's overall great flavor, though. Like um, I, I was happy with it for three quarters of the day. And that other quarter, I needed something a little heavier, and I just used my RYW4 mixed in there. This one gets a B. 